Hello everyone, welcome back to Mesmo. Today we have an interesting equation. We need to solve this equation for x. We have 2 to the power x plus 4 to the power x equal to 8 to the power x. And how can we solve this equation? Take a look. We can write this 4 as 2 square and this 8 as 2 cube. So as a result we will have all, all bases will be 2. So this will be good for us. So let's do this. What we will have? We will have 2 to the power x plus 2 square raised to the power x and equal to 2 cube raised to the power x. So this will be all the same elements, but we write as this 4 as 2 square and this 8 as 2 cube. So what are we going to do next? If we have a situation like that, if we raise 8, 8 to the power x raised to the power b, we need to multiply this x times b. So as a result we'll have 2x as a power of 2 and 3x as a power of 2 right here. As a result we'll have 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power 2x equal to 2 to the power 3x. So take a look what we will have. We will have right here 1 time 2 to the power x, right here we have 2 times 2 to the power x, and right here 3 times 3 to the 2 to the power x. So as a result we, we can factor out this 2 to the power x as a common, so as a result we will have, and I bring this 2 to the power 3x on the left. What we will have? 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power 2x and minus 2 to the power 3x equal to 0. And right here, let's factor out 2 to the power x. What we will have? We will have 2 to the power x, and in parentheses we will have 1 plus 2 to the power x, and minus 2 to the power 2x. Just take 1 time 2 to the power x from here, and 1 time 2 to the power x from here. Just we'll add 1x and 2x from this. We will have equal to 0. And take a look, we'll have 2 to the power x, 2 to the power x, and 2 to the power 2x. We can use a substitution. So let this 2 to the power x be equal to t, for example. What we will have as a result? We'll have an interesting equation. We'll have t times 1 plus t and minus t square equal to 0. Moreover, we have a product if product equal to 0, then this element equal to 0, and this element equal to 0 as well. So let's start with this one. What we will have? We will have that t equal to 0, and from here 2 to the power x equal to 0, because t equal to 2 to the power x. We will have 2 to the power x equal to 0, and this equation has no many roots, because 2 to the power x cannot be equal to 0. So our first root has no any this equation has no any solution, so this is not good root for us. So take a look right here, we have the second and third root, because we have right here a quadratic equation, so right here we have two roots, but using our t. So let's write this equation, but I wanted to change our or order a little bit. We'll have minus t square plus t and plus 1 equal to 0. How can I solve this? Let's multiply on both sides by minus 1. As a, as a result, we swap all of these all of these signs will have t square minus t and minus 1 equal to 0. So let's solve this, this equation. This is a quadratic equation, so we can easily find our ABC and put this ABC to our formula. We will have the t1 and 2, or t, t second and t third, because right here we have t1. We will have, it will be equal to, we will have minus b, it will be 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4 and dividing by 2. So as a result we'll have the t2 and 3 will be equal to, I want to simplify this, we will have the t1 and t2 and 3 will be equal to 1 plus minus square root of 5 and over, over 2. So this is our t2 and t3. Take a look, we'll have two cases, because we'll have one root with the plus sign and one root with the minus sign. So I, I want to write these, these cases under this, this expression. So the first one with the plus sign, so we'll have t2 equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 with the plus sign. And the second one with the minus sign, we'll have t3 will be equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. And if we solve this equation with this one, we will have 2 to the power x, right here, 2 to the power x equal to this one. We will have the 2 to the power x equal to 
1 minus square root of 5 over over 2. And take a look, this one on the right is negative 1, because we have 1 minus square root of 5 is minus and 2 is plus. If we divide in this, we will have the sign on the right will be will be minus, so 2 to the power x cannot be equal to minus minus value. So t3 is not good root for us, so this one has not any solution as the first one, the third one has no any solution as well, so we have only our second case. We will have 1 plus square root of 5 equal to 2. Let's go to our substitution. We will have 2 to the power x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2. This is one and only case that will have any solution. And how can we solve it? Let's take log from both of the side and then x jump right here as a... So we will have log 2, 2 to the power x equal to log of this expression of 2. And this x jump right here in the beginning. So as a result we will have that our x equal 2 and we divide in both sides by this log 2. And as a result we will have our answer that our x is equal to log 2, log base of 2 of the expression 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2. And this will be our one and only answer. This will be our one and only answer. So we can simplify this, of course. We can write this one. This is x equal to log base of 10 of this expression dividing by log base of 10 of, the, of these two. But I want to to put this without any simplifying, without any simplifying trick. So this is this is our this is our answer. This is one and only x. Right here we don't have any roots because our 2 to the power x cannot be equal to negative value. If we have 2 to the power x equal to 1, this equation will never has no any solution. We'll have no any solution because this one cannot be equal to minus 1. As a result is right here, we have 2 to the power x equal to 0. This is not a negative, this is not a positive one, but this one can, cannot touch this x is 0. This is close, but not touch this zero. So we will have only our our root x1 equal to log, log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and base of 2. And this will be our, our solution to this equation. Few steps right here, simplifying this, factoring out these 2 to the power x, and we'll have two, two cases. Moreover, we will have not two but three cases because we are talking about t and as a result we will have only our x equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 base of 2. So if you still have any question write a question in the comment, write your suggestion in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing and see you in the next videos.